April showers bring May flowers, but it also brings out the bugs. It seems the sooner the warmer weather starts, the bigger the bug problem. Susan Taylor from Mr. Bugs Pest Control joins me now today to tell us how to identify a termite problem and what we can do to reduce the chance of them invading our homes. Good morning. Good morning. This is good timing, I understand. Yes, ma'am, it is. Our native subterranean termites have actually been swarming for a number of weeks, mm -hmm. but there's a, a species that's not native to Alabama that's going to start swarming soon anytime between now and Mother's Day or so. Mm -hmm. Those are the Formosan? That's correct. The Formosan termites are a lot more destructive than our native termites because their colonies are so much bigger. Mm -hmm. A Formosan colony is going to have easily a million individuals. Wow. Where our native subterranean termites, colony is usually going to have 10 to 50,000 individuals. <laughs> How can we distinguish one from the other and know which one we may be dealing with? Right. The timing of the swarming is going to be the main way to tell. A Formosan termite is usually going to swarm sometime around Mother's Day, mm -hmm. where our native termites swarm early in the year. Also, the time of day that they swarm, the Formosan termites swarm at night, usually starting right around sunset, mm -hmm. where our native termites swarm early in the morning. Are they different colors? Just wondering. <laughs> there are several different colors of subterranean termites. Mm -hmm. Some are lighter and some are darker, but the Formosan termites, they do tend to be a lighter color. Okay, we do have a picture of... Um... Those are actually the soldiers, which is another way to distinguish the difference. The teardrop-shaped head on the bottom, that's the Formosan termite. Hmm. And this is a winged ant. It's one way that you can tell whether it's a termite swarm or an ant swarm. You'll notice the ant has a small pinched waist, just like a non-winged ant would. Mm -hmm. One of the main ways that Formosan termites have been brought into our area is through the use of railroad ties for landscaping. Those ties may have come from an area that's well known to have Formosan infestations. Mm -hmm. They can be brought to our area and then when we use them for landscaping, we unintentionally get hitchhikers. Yeah, what other advice do you have for homeowners? The main thing would be one, don't use railroad ties for any landscaping needs at all. And two, moisture is a very important concern for homeowners. Not only will the moisture cause damage itself to the home, but usually when there is extensive termite activity, it's in combination with moisture problems. Mm -hmm. Wow, you have educated me today. <laughs> so I thank, thank you, you so much for being here. You're welcome. Yes, and, and certainly we know who to call if there's a bug problem. Yes, ma'am. All right, we thank you so much, Susan Taylor, for joining us today. Thank you. More of your top.